Welcome to Making Monday, where the Doctor of Days is here for your Monday pleasure. Anyway, I want to be a DJ in heaven too. Did I tell y'all that? <laughs> DJ, and I want to do the drums. And while we're talking about do the drums, we have three cool uh, conceptions to create a conviction for a a week of clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Making Monday, where the best part of waking up is my encouragement in your cup. You know what I'm saying? What's in your cup? Y'all like my new mug? Give me a shout out if you like it. My my partner brought it for me. She went to Alaska. That's my doctor. Got me this mug. I'm loving it. Anyway, move on. I have three cool conceptions to create a conviction for a week of clarity. Three cool conceptions to create a conviction for a week of clarity. And my theme is, it's as clear as day. It's as clear as day. So what's my word? I'm glad you asked. The word is lucid. I use it when I'm preaching a lot. I don't know if anybody looks it up. I think they just think I'm using L words. Lucid. I say lucidity. I say lucid. It is a good word. It's a good word. It means, it's an adjective. It means very clear and easy to understand. Very clear and easy to understand. It also means something that is expressed clearly and easy to understand. So very clear and easy to understand or something that has been expressed very clear and easy to understand. I try to be very lucid. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because you can't tell me who to sock it to. Oh, it's my thing. Anyway, uh, let me be more lucid. I got three points. You want to know what they are? I was going to tell you if you didn't want to know. Um, God is lucid. That's one. Uh, he wants you to be lucid. That's two. And then don't be a fool. That's three. See, I, I veered off. But if God is lucid, but I really didn't veer off. God is lucid. He wants you to be lucid. And don't be a fool. Number one, God is lucid. When God talks, he's very clear. One of the things I love about the Old Testament is if you want to, if you think God is not clear, he, God takes great effort to go over the, 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 the law. He's like, and do this and do this. And he says it like 150 times. I'm like, God, you just said it. He says it again. Cause, and I'm like, Moses probably was like, like people like me. I heard you say it already, but he didn't dare to say that to God because God is God. But he was like, God kept saying the same thing over and over again. And I was like, why is God doing that? Cause he don't want no problem. He wants to be very clear. Very lucid. And he's lucid in the New Testament about how people work and how things are going to work. Watch 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1 through whatever. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, un. Uh, appeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving, good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Avoid such people. How much clearer can you be? Avoid such people. God is lucid. He gave you a long list and then said, avoid these jokers. Lucid. Let me give you another one. He says, Paul says to Timothy, you know, speaking on behalf of God, think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. God is going to be clearly understood. I don't understand God. Well, you ain't trying. Because God makes himself clearly understood. You the one making it complicated. God is lucid. And he wants you to be lucid. Psalms 119 130, the unfolding of your words 
gives light and imparts understanding to the simple. So God says, I'm going to put me in you and I'm going to give you the ability to talk in such a way that you can make difficult things uh, uh, easy to understand to people who don't even have the ability to understand on a level that regular people understand. I think what I do is take a gospel that could be kind of hard for people to understand and make it absolutely easy to be understood. I think that's the anointing and one of the giftings on my life. Why? Because God has made me lucid. Okay, Colossians 4, 6. Let your speech always, always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. God says that every person doesn't get answered the same way. Did you think about that? He's being very clear and he wants you to be clear that you need to think in life, that you need to think before you speak, that you don't get up today and you decide to treat everybody the same. You don't get up today and everybody gets the same answer. You don't get up today and everybody gets the situation explained the same way. Your job is to be the oracle of God God's communicator in the earth, and you have to take pride in that, and you've got to decide, I must know some words, I must understand some things, and i got to be able to break some things down. I've got to be lucid. Okay, moving on to my last point, don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. When people are not lucid, God looks at it as foolishness in a lot of cases. So my uh, a caveat to you, is say what you need to say, but don't be a fool. All right, 1 Timothy 6 and 20. Oh, Timothy, guard the deposit entrusted to you. Avoid irreverent babble and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge. Don't just say what the world say. That's one of the ways God considers you a fool. Whenever you just repeat whatever the world says, and, and, it, and it's falsely called knowledge. You know what? You shouldn't eat beef. That's stupid. That's stupid. You lose weight. First of all, that's the one meat that God gave him to eat. Don't say what the world says. It's false knowledge. It's, God said he made everything all right for you to eat. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't eat poison. But, you, but don't tell me I shouldn't eat a particular animal. If God says it's good, it's false knowledge. And what you're engaging in when you choose to speak about this false knowledge is irreverent babble. Be lucid. Be clearly understood, but don't say stupid stuff. All right, Proverbs 18, 7. A fool's mouth is his ruin, and his lips are a snare to his soul. Your own talking is what's got your mind messed up, your emotions messed up, your will all out of whack. You get emotional, and you say the wrong thing because you're a fool. God says, say what he said. And be lucid. Be clear like he's clear. All right. I feel like I did a good job. And so I'm going to try to be very lucid in this hour at this moment. And I want to tell you the way to be lucid is to clearly tell you that these socks are the greatest socks that the world has ever known. Now, I have looked at socks uh, lately. No, I haven't. I'm making this up. But I have looked at socks lately, and uh, I've looked at sweat socks. I'm making all of this up. I've looked at uh, 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 the socks that only go to your ankles. Really, I haven't looked at socks because I don't wear socks really that much, except in the winter. So I'm just going to be lucid and tell the, the truth kind of, sort of, in a microscopic way, in a mat. And, and, and socks are necessary for regular people. And even me. Even me, I have these. I don't wear socks a lot, but I do have these. And what I'm telling you is you may not wear socks a lot. You may have a lot of different kinds of socks. But if you don't have these, your sock thing is not complete. I was dealing with complete yesterday in a sermon. You ain't complete. Your feet are not complete. And look, what I'm trying to tell you is don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. You need these socks. You need these socks. And we can give them to you for uh uh uh. $14, $14, $14. I feel the spirit moving all over me. Every time I hear the spirit, $14 on your feet, $14. You see, I, I, I found some Gucci socks for, what was they, 100 and, uh, 
a hundred and uh, what is hundred and thirty dollars? So I figured I'm 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 giving I'm blessing you, I'm blessing you, cause the Gucci socks did not feel like this. You need these socks. These shirts. This is a twenty five dollar shirt. It's going on sale today. Twenty four dollars. Twenty four dollars. It's on sale because I'm having a sale type of moment. It's on sale. Twenty five dollars. Something on the front and the back. This is a twenty five dollar shirt. $25 shirt. If you get something on the back, it's $30. So it's tw now $24. And if you get something on the back, $29. Oh, everything's on sale. Then we got uh, the, the, the Alpha Vi Ulta Alpha Phi Alpha version. Again, $25. And if you get something on the back, it's $30. But guess what? If today is $24, and if you get something on the back, $29. Everything is on sale. Everything is on sale. This hat is usually $8. If you buy it right now, it's $7.50. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This hat is usually $10. If you buy it today, right now, it's $7.38. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. Jesus, this is amazing. Finally, as I get ready to go to my seat, I feel like preaching. I'm trying to tell you, this hat is usually $20. If you get it today, it's $20. So what am I saying? I'm saying everything is on sale except this hat. I got to go. Life is wonderful. Don't take no wooden nickels. But I was clear. Yeah. This is a sale. And, 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 and what? It's not today. Okay, so it's not today. All right. So they was trying to tell me about my friend's birthday, but it's tomorrow. I don't know when her birthday is. I've been knowing her birthday is forever. I, 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 but if y'all want to say happy birthday to Deacon Haywood tomorrow, that's, that's wonderful. I was going to say happy birthday, so I didn't know what the big deal was, but y'all can say happy birthday tomorrow. But they said that in church. And if you wasn't in church yesterday, you might not even know Deacon Haywood. So I don't know all of this for, for nothing. Buy my stuff. All right. It's show. It's Monday morning, Satan busy trying to throw you off track. Be numb to his thoughts, suggestion, and all his mental attacks. You're overworked, underpaid, and your life's full of lack. Well, that's persona non grata, so you can miss me with that. Bishop Grant's on point. Her wisdom averse saw a quote with about.